Hello everybody and welcome back to another Jack Bricks video. And in this video I'll be teaching you a simple jar return program for Lego Spike Prime. Um, so let's get started. This is what the finished program looks like and as you can see I've input 90 degrees so if I click play I uh, will see that our robot turns a nice 90 degrees. Now I'll teach you how to make it. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that the more movement extension is enabled. So you'll go down to the um, bottom left corner of your screen and click the show block extensions icon. Then you just need to make sure that there's a tick in the more movement box. And then because we're making this program in a my block, uh, we need to go to the my blocks tab and make a block. And I'll just call this jar return. Then we need to add an input for the number of degrees we want our robot to turn. Um, so I'll call that degrees and I'll also add a label um, that says degrees as well just to make things a bit easier. Um, so now we've got our define jar return block and we've got our actual jar return block with our input for the number of degrees. The next thing you can do is set your movement motors. Um, so mine are in A and E, but you'll just need to double check that those are set to the right motors for your specific robot. And then, because we're using the yaw angle on our robot, we'll set the yaw angle to zero. And the reason we're using yaw angle is because that is the side to side rotation of our robot. So as you can see, um, as I spin the robot, the yaw angle is actually changing. So once we've set the yaw angle to zero, we are going to go into control and get an if else block. And this will help us determine which way we want our robot to spin. So if you input a positive number of degrees, uh, the robot needs to spin to the right, but if you input a negative number of degrees, it needs to spin to the left. So then we'll go into operators and get a more than block. Um, and we're going to say, if the degrees is more than zero, so if it's a positive number of degrees, we'll spin to the right in this section of the block. But if it's not more than zero, or if the number of degrees is negative, um, it'll play this section of the block. Um, so if our degrees is positive and we need to turn right, um, the first thing we need to do is start turning right. So we'll get a start moving at a percent speed block, and we'll make that uh, 10 and negative 10. So our left motor spinning forwards and our right motor spinning backwards, that'll start our robot moving in a right hand turn. And after we've done that, we need a wait until block because we are going to wait until um, the yaw angle is equal to the degrees that we input. Uh, so what you'll do, you'll get the pitch angle block from the sensors tab and you'll just make sure you change that to yaw. Um, so just to recap what we've done so far, if we need to make a right hand turn, so if the degrees is positive, we will start moving um, with our left motor spinning forwards and our right motor spinning backwards, which will make us turn right, and we'll wait until the yaw angle equals the degrees that we want it to. So now we can make the left hand turn section of the if else block. Um, so I'm just going to copy this, and all you need to do is change the 10 to negative 10, and you change the negative 10 to 10. Then after all that, um, you just need a stop moving block on the end, um, and your robot will turn the specified number of degrees and then stop moving. Um, so if I input 45 degrees, um, we can have a look at what this does. So as you saw, that turned 45 degrees very nicely, and our program uh, has worked. Um, but there are a few small things that I just need to tell you about. So, um, this jar return works for any number of degrees up to 180. You can go up to 179 and uh, down to negative 179, uh, but just make sure you don't put uh, input 180 because your robot will just spin because that, uh, that value isn't actually picked up by the gyro. Um, and neither are decimal values. So, unfortunately, you can't turn... Um, a decimal number of degrees, uh, so say 42.5 degrees, uh, because the gyro counts in whole numbers, so it'll just skip right past it and spin forever as well. Um, so what can happen is that uh, the robot will start moving, then once it um, has turned and seen 
the desired number of degrees go by, then it will stop. So it does tend to overshoot a little bit. And what can help is slowing down the movement, so reducing these values. Um, although I've found 10 works really well with the small wheels for the Spike Prime system. Um, however, if you're using the larger wheels, you may need to reduce that a little bit further. Um, one other thing that you can do, and I'll just go over this quickly, is you can get a minus block. Um, so for the right hand turn, you can wait until the yaw angle equals degrees minus uh, 5, for example. And then in the left hand turn, um, you can turn until the yaw angle equals degrees plus 5. Um, so what this does, this just makes it turn a little bit less. Um, so it will correct itself if you have a, um, a higher speed on your motors. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you learnt something. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you're subscribed because I have a few more Spike Prime videos planned for the future.